Here's how to easily make crystals in Blender. Overture sent me a spool of their dual silk PLA to test and showcase. My first thought was, and my second thought was this would really make cool crystals. So that's the plan. A while ago I uploaded a how to split models in Blender video, and in the comments I had a little disagreement which ended in a guy showing me a different tutorial that worked for him. While my tutorial focused on separating and keeping two parts, which worked for my purposes, I checked out the recommended video, done by Steven Scott, and the tutorial was great, focusing on quickly separating and eliminating parts. I've added a link to Stephen Scott's video in the description if you're interested. So back to making cool crystals. In Blender, don't delete the default cube. What you talking about, huh? Select it, go into edit mode, press A to select everything if it isn't already, and select the bisect tool, which is probably hiding behind the knife tool. Then, make your cut by clicking and dragging. Unlike my previous tutorial, we don't need to keep the part we cut off, so instead, use the little pop-up in the lower left corner of the screen. Check the fill box, and either keep outer or inner depending on the direction of the arrow. Then make the cut, which eliminates the unneeded part. To repeat the process, simply press A to select all, select the bisect tool, and do it again. Then you can select vertices and move them around to fine tune the shape. Keep in mind, if you're planning on 3D printing these on an FDM printer like I am, keep the bottom face flat and try not to move the vertices up and down. For game design or other digital applications, this doesn't matter as much. You can see in the slicer if there's any issue with your flat surface by going to preview and viewing the first layer. If the bottom face is uneven, it won't print correctly. You can always use a boolean difference and slice the bottom off if you've moved vertices too much and it seems too difficult to line the flat surface up. For a little more detail, my friend Illogic on Instagram showed me this cool add-on called One Click Damage. I used the free version. It's actually kind of wild. Just make sure to make and save a copy of the crystal so you have somewhere to go back to because this tool can mess up your geometry a bit and make it difficult to edit the shape of the crystal. All you have to do is select a crystal, press the one click damage button, move the sliders around, and press apply. I added a bunch of the crystals into my slicer, scaled them, and made little groups, and printed. And here's what it looks like on the table. It's really cool how each face has a different color. I can see this being really great for adding little pizzazz for D&D games, little objectives for skirmish games, or just scatter like this. It comes in a lot of different colors and is genuinely really fun to print with. Thanks again for Overture for sending a spool to try out. Also, shout out Steven Ryder for buying me a coffee. If you enjoyed, feel free to like and subscribe. Consider buying me a coffee to help support the cause. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Alright, bye bye